Rosecrans Vic Podcast. I'm Rosecrans Vic, and I'm joined by Heem Beasy. What's the deal? What's the deal? How you my feeling, boy, bro? Vic. Feeling good, man. Feeling light, man. Trying to keep my head up. <laughs> Yeah, what about two, man? How you feeling? Man? I'm feeling good, bro. I'm feeling I'm good. I was good. been up for like 12 hours straight, bro. Yeah, what? I've been up for like 72 hours, man. <laughs> nigga, don't sleep. I swear to God. What? Why don't you sleep? Man, what? Nigga, you see where I'm at right now? Working. It's working all the time. They do don't you, get no breaks. Do you do the all night studio sessions? Sometimes. Sometimes we'll do the 12 hour session, but nigga really don't need session like that because uh, the studio be at my shit. Like at my okay. house, I already be at the house just recording all day. Um, bro, that's like your your go to every day. Like, do you wake up and record, or what time is like it best really for you to record? Is, um, bro, it's really great. All day, wake up. We right because it's in my it's in the other room, of my house. Yeah. So you feel me? We just have nigga. We smoking whatever. We right in the studio, right back in the studio. You feel me? It's really just all day studio. Um, bro, wake up, record all that. Yeah. Uh, right. have you been to like a Big time studio? Does it feel different? Do you oh, like yeah. it more? Do you like the home vibe more? I've been to plenty of studios, um, bro. I've been to APG. I've been everywhere. Yeah. Um, you feel me? It ain't no difference. Sometimes it really, it really just depends on my mood because I already know how to do all that shit. Like, I'll sit there and I'm, I'm recording all my shit myself, mixing, engineering. So, you feel me? I know what I want and right. I know what I'm doing. You feel yeah. me? I'm going to do it fast. It's shortcut and shit like that. Sometimes the engineer pissed me off and shit like that. You feel me? <laughs> Scoot over. I know how like, to do it. You feel me? Doing damn shit on bro. So, <laughs> you feel me? It depends. Like, I'd rather be at the house or we could do it 12 hours. You feel me? Yeah. It, it just depends. I like moving fast, though. How do you feel about recording in the room with, like, strangers? I feel like, like I've met artists that are, like, they don't. They only like to work in like their environment, their people. It ain't gonna be no strange ass niggas with me, ain't it? for sure. Yeah. Well, you mean like just random in, people? Like I mean, people I don't know. Yeah, just like it'll just be like like maybe it's a session with another rapper and they have their entourage and you. Have oh those. yeah, oh yeah. I'm not. That's gonna turn me up some more. Like yeah, homie, yeah, tell me in the booth. Show yeah. these niggas watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who these niggas is. Watch this stuff. <laughs> Are you you competitive like that? I'm no. I'm not really competitive. Hell no, I ain't competitive, fool. No, I'm not competitive like that. I don't know you feel me. I just tell, I just tell nigga take the stats simple. I ain't, yeah, I ain't gonna say nothing else, man. Yeah, um, bro, Alamo no. That's right. That's Drop the Alamo. bag. <laughs> <laughs> Alamo no. <laughs> Shout out to Alamo. So you've been uh, recording music since you were eight. Uh, like or since very young in yeah, your life. Really, yeah, since like a little little ass boy. Yes. You feel me? My pops was always he was the one, you feel me, always doing the rap and the music shit. Yeah. So you feel me? I'm I'm just I'm his son right along with him everywhere. He in the studio twenty four seven. I'm right there. You feel me? A toddler right yeah. there watching bro recording, punching and recording. It. So you feel me? My uncle too, niggas has always been around music, so Hell yeah, like all my life I was just feel me straight music. Then like I started rapping and shit when I was six, and then like, once I turned nine, that's when I started producing. Wow. I turned I turned nine. Uh, my pops, my dad, he brought me a laptop with all the music shit on there, and uh, just shit, just from there it was on go, and bro, I was in the living room every day. We had the little studio set up, the speakers, the table, the keyboard. And I was on uh, Logic Pro, um, bro, but uh, he gave me the whole little setup when I was like nine years old. And ever since wow. then, nigga just on go. That's what I'm saying. Like a nigga, I be, I be yeah. doing everything like myself and the recording and the mixing and all that shit. Facts. That's amazing. Right. I'm going I'm to ask you about that. But I'm just curious to know what nine-year-old Heem Beasy songs sound like. What were you rapping about? What was inspiring you hey, at the you're time? Hey, you crazy ass nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I know the the files are somewhere. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask pops. I'm gonna be like, yo, I need, I need you this for crazy research ass purposes. Nigga. <laughs> hey, you stupid for that? I can't believe you just said that to me on the day. That's crazy. This nigga make crazy. <laughs> you really, really, you don't even know. Who you funny for that? He said nine year old he be. No, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's some 10, 11 year old busy out there. I yeah. ain't gonna lie, but um, we got that was like some YouTube. regular shit. You feel me? You heard that, JP? We gotta dig up on nah, you. Yeah, We're gonna he, find it. You ain't gonna find that shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, take it down, take it down. <laughs> <Take this shit. laughs> um, I'm just curious to know because it's like 
I know, I remember being 9, 10, 11. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have shit to rap about. I was maybe Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, like that's what nah, I was. Nah, so look, how that went, how that went, bro, um, I always had my dad right there with me, you yeah. feel me? And he already know how, like, he know the whole program, all yeah. the rap shit from everything from Facts. the 90s, everything about Bow Wow, all that, like, you feel me? Yeah. So he was just like, you feel me, my Jermaine Dupri right uh, there, so you feel me, okay. all of the... Nigga, I'm not rapping about no little kids. Yeah. Or anything, you feel so me? Like, Where we in the living room with the whole studio set up in the booth, you yeah. feel me? And I'm putting bars together, you feel me? I really so, yeah. would play one old song and yeah. hear my little ass really like really talking about some shit on bro Nick. Like that's fire. Nah, ride my bike, no, none of that yeah. little shit. Like, it was like some cause cause like when, on some Jay Z shit, that's what he had my, my pops had yeah, me on type that's, shit. That's fire. Yeah, but because yeah, I, don't, I don't even know why you talking about this. Like, <laughs> it's interesting because it's, there, there hasn't been a like a artist like Bow Wow probably ever, right? Um, and so to know that your dad was kind of like, yo, this is what we're going to do. And then yeah. that the songs weren't just like bullshit. It was like, nah, we're really putting in work. And that's led to you being becoming your own artist in your own right. And now making the type of music like you want to make. Right. But already having all that experience. Like if... Like you've been making music for nine years and you're 18, like that's half your life. Like Damn. that's fire. Sneaky. You know, that's like you're yeah. way ahead of the game and just bled the whole age. It's just you know, <laughs> tell them I was 18. <laughs> Damn, man. They know. I ain't 18, I'm 24. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's nah, a, yeah. it's something to be proud of, bro. Like yeah, I, for I, sure though. Be that young, that popping, that it's like, oh um, bro. Like, I just seen the kids turn up for you like crazy. And I'm, I'm, they weren't all kids, but it's like a lot of young young people going crazy for you at the show. Oh, at this the past show we weekend, just had. At Rosecrans Live. Man, that's on, bro. You see the little, uh, the little Yaki kept trying to come up on the stage. He had to throw her, <laughs> he had to throw her off the stage. <laughs> my son, my boy had to throw her off the stage like three times. I swear to God, she grabbing on my leg, bro. She like, keep trying to get my attention. I'm like, hold on, fool. Like, I'm trying to perform in my song. Play. I'm just, hold on, hold on. She yelling. She just keep pointing at her phone. And then you feel me? I'm performing. Like she keep trying to climb on the stage and shit. And then <laughs> she, she like finally trying to get on there. My boy like grab her, throw her in the crowd. Like he throw the bitch <laughs> off the stage. And she still, she still keep coming. Like she still keep trying to climb back up on bro. Like she came up again, threw her off the stage. And then she's saying, I just want him to follow me. Like, I want to do it. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it if he leaves. He's not. I'm like, bro, all right, hold on. <laughs> Damn. How does yeah. how does it feel to have that type of effect on people? Man, man, I don't know, man. I already, um, it's weird. Yeah. Cause like a lot of times I be on you, man. Cause the homies know, everybody know. I'm being humble. You feel me? Yeah. It it is crazy though. You feel me? And they go anywhere. And they just be shocked that they mind. Yeah. Go to Target, Walmart. Everybody want pictures. It's a good feeling, you yeah. feel me? I should never would have thought I would have had that, but yeah, because you know, at bro. the end of the day, like they're recognizing you, the person, but really they're recognizing your hard work, right? The it's hard like work for sure. because they wouldn't know you if you wouldn't be in the studio twelve hours a day, recording every day, and you know going viral. <laughs> they would have known you know for sure if I wasn't putting in that work. Exactly. Oh, bro, plenty of nights, plenty of days. I was putting yeah. that work in. Oh, bro, swear to God, these niggas. These niggas be sitting on their ass, um, bro. I be trying to put shit in motion. I be ready to drop, record, um, bro. This shit came with a lot of work, you know. None of that lazy shit, um, bro. Yeah. You gotta work. Hundred percent. So, um, you start putting out music once, like that starts getting more popular. Around what age was it? Like 15, 16? is when you start to like, like once I started type blowing up type shit. Yeah, exactly. No, nah, it's probably like seventeen. I was probably like 17, already had yeah, got out of the uh, I left school. I was just on bunk around like, what, December, like late December 2020? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Shit, yeah, I was like 17 when I face started blowing up. And what song do you feel like started getting traction? Not like the biggest song, not like Face Notebook, but like, was there something before then that you hit like a number you're just like, wow, look, I'm at It was plenty of them. It was like with me, it was weird because like I just got like a 
That's why I always love my fans. I got like a weird like fan. I got a strong ass fan base. Yeah. So like everything that I was dropping from that time like had like equal amount and okay. you feel me stream, but they was all like you feel me viral though. Like I got this one song called Ling Ling that was uh going viral and then really hurt. It was really like Ling Ling and Var uh really hurt going viral at the same time. But uh, yeah, I feel like that's when uh, shit really started shooting off. Um, I'm trying to really think of what singles I had. Four grams of pain too. Yeah, mm-hmm. four grams of pain. Like when niggas really started looking like, like okay, what's this nigga? Yeah. But we been having all of that. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. We been putting shit out, man. I don't know shit. We That's here now. We here yeah. now, man. Facts. Oh, so, um, you mentioned that you had kind of like, was there a period of of time that you stopped making music? You said you were just on bunk, like you weren't. Does that mean you weren't really doing the rap shit? You kind of like kind of stopped for a period. You said I was on bunk when. No, that's what you said. Um, I'm saying when was that? Like, did does that mean that like, you stopped making music um, for a period of time? It never really was no. Um, yeah, probably like yeah, it was a time when I was like fuck that because like there was a lot of shit going on. Yeah. You feel me? I'm in in and out the house, shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, nigga don't got time to do this and that. But yeah, it was for sure for a period of time where I don't want to do that shit. But nigga always loved music anyway, yeah. so I was always going to figure so out a way to do that to shit. It. You feel me? Yeah. Put it out, whatever. Yeah, facts. So yeah, oh, bro. Um, so I met your pops at the show, bro. and I'm like, yo, me and him, are we like the same age? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> your pops looks young, bro. Nah, bro, they think my pops my brother. <laughs> yeah. I swear. <laughs> Hey, they, they really think that's my big brother or something like that. Yeah. Like, like, nigga, old fool. How does, it, how does it feel having such a cool dad, though? Like, it's, You feel me? Man, me and, me and bro relationship. Oh, my <laughs> God. Hey, bro, that's a crazy dude, bro. I love that dude, though. Bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, he made a lot happen for sure. Yeah. Like, oh, God. Shout out to my manager, Ocho. Yeah. My pops, they didn't really get all my mind and shit. Um, but yeah, you say he cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's cool, you feel me? We damn near like the same nigga, um, bro. Um, we didn't been through a whole lot, you feel me? Yeah. But we just now started, you feel me? Like locking in type shit with you. But yeah, it's cool, you feel me? Yeah, talk about the like the management team you got. You got Ocho. When did you meet Ocho? Cause he has like a crazy eye for talent. Order later. Yeah, he really does have a crazy eye for time. He just goes, he just grabs anything. <laughs> um, yeah, um, no, nah, what was I was going to say, though. Now, like, yeah, I met Ocho, like, right before I dropped the Really Her video. Mm. I don't know when that was. It was, like, March, March, April, or what, 2022. Like, around March, April, that's when uh, I met Ocho. We kind of, we started chopping it up through the DM. We just locked in from there. Um... We locked in, set up the Ready Art video, and then from after that, it was just it was just the same thing. After that, we was just on you feel me on go. So I like, met bro after we set the first video up. Yeah. And then we just started flooding video after video after video, and bro just kept working. Right. Oh, bro, so um, you know, we really came a long way. That's what I said. Shout out to my boy Oto. It be on a whole lot of weird shit, but <laughs> fucking sometimes, fuck them. <laughs> it's what it is. Shout out to my boy, though. <laughs> That's dope. All right, so uh, face no book starts going crazy. What, what is it like? What changes in your life? Like, what? Talk to me about the time where it just starts to go really like viral, and and when did you realize it went viral? I hate like, I don't know. Cause it's crazy for like the way I even made face no book. I, I it really wasn't like even a big reaction for me, not too much reaction to me. Cause like I already knew like what it was gonna do. Yeah. You feel me? Like I was in bro, I was in my homie bedroom recording a song for like oh um, bro, like yeah. nigga was just knocking songs out a regular day. I'm like, I put the beat up. Like, how do I start that shit off? I just put them out right now. I just yeah, put yeah, up in yeah. the like I just playing around for yeah. <laughs> playing around. Yeah. I just put up in the bins. I'm doing all the extra. I'm like on the there homies watching like nigga watch this for to be the next shit on TikTok. 
Book you up, you feel me? So I keep going. I'm just saying shit that I'm already knowing, you feel me? And that's gonna be the hard part on TikTok. Yeah. And then, yeah, it was just some, literally just some little bullshit. Uh, dropped it. TikTok started going out. And shit, on that shit just started spreading, you feel me? And it did what it did. Like, it did exactly what I knew it was gonna do. So, but shit, no game. Nigga never yeah. even expected that. That's fire. So it wasn't like in the studio. You didn't feel like, oh, this is a hit. Oh hell no! It wasn't yeah. in the studio at yeah. all. <laughs> Make that everything damn near bedroom or yeah. closet or on my phone. Wow, mm, bro. A lot of these shits I got was not in no major studio. All this shit on my tape that's about to drop and all that, all that shit, all that new shit. Yeah, some of that shit major studio. Other than that, everything you know, the nigga record damn near in the bedroom or a closet or off my phone. Swear to God. Wow, that's that's fire. Tell me about the the new project. Um, new project was today, sixteenth. Yeah, dropping in a few days. Uh, no, uh, my new tape, my fine, my what? This is my first tape. Yeah, April nineteenth, really him volume one. Um, it's fire, bro. I got hella features on there. Um, uh, who'd you work with? Uh, Release party two four twenty. You popping out, bro? I'm gonna be in Vegas, or else I will be there. Damn, bro, you gonna do I, that trust me? Too? I would go. Damn, I would dang. go. They had already invited That's me. Weird, I was like, bro. yeah, my bad. You ain't gonna come to more release party, dog. Oh, it's Vegas. <laughs> it's I'm Vegas. Going, I'm going to the tank fight. I'm going to the tank fight. Oh, yeah. matter of fact, I'm coming with you. Yeah, that. that's what I'm nah. saying. Yeah, look, after. <laughs> I'm not after. lying. Damn. <laughs> you gonna be at the release party while tanking and fighting them? Trying to watch some niggas squabble? No, nah, well, I'm gonna go out there on Thursday, but they fight on Saturday, so. Okay, okay. All right, bet. So, um, all right, yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, release party, yeah. Uh, tape drop uh, April 19th. Uh, so like what, seventeen tracks on there. I got HD Chike on there. Shout out Chike. Shout out Chike. Uh, Fusion One Take J. Bl- yeah. Blueface for sure. A couple yeah. shit on there. Blueface. Um, Bravo Free Bravo the Bad Chaser. Bravo. Oh bro, it's some shit on there. Yeah. A few more days though. They been waiting. It's the first tape. From the drop in a few days. Then boom, probably the album coming next. I'm trying to. After that, we flooding. Fire. Flooding in. Um, talk about your relationship with Blueface. I I seen him shout you out, and made like a whole post and was like, people say that he reminds me of of me. They remind. Are you talking about what he was saying? Like, uh, yeah, uh, he reminded me of me when I was eighteen. Exactly. Or like yeah. That. Well, how did that make you feel? Yeah, what I don't do you know why you said that. Shit, I, probably, <laughs> I don't know because it's his manager. His manager named Bravo. Yeah. And like Bravo. Um, yeah, the homie. He was yeah. He was saying that. He said the same thing too. I don't know why everybody was saying that. I, it was I, we was in Oregon, bro. We was in Portland for uh, Bravo the Bag Chaser his tour. I was on tour with Bravo and them. Yep. We was on a tour. We was in Portland this one night, and um, I was just on bunk. I was I was getting loaded. You feel me <laughs> in the club? You feel me? All the little stripper I was all there. We was taking shots with you. I was loaded. And I guess I was just doing the I had a flight like three hours later in the club, <laughs> like three in the morning. On the day on me, I'm with I'm with Bravo. Yeah. I'm with True Car, but this nigga That's Bravo me and Bravo in this section. Bravo like, let's go half on the bottle. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Cost me goes like six hundred. Sounds like Bravo. Yeah, um, bro. Cost me goes like six hundred. He's like, let's go half. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Oh, <laughs> um, bro, we dropped six hundred. They bring. The whole start coming with the bottles. Yep. With dude, whoop. I get loaded up. <laughs> Shit from there. I guess I black. I, I didn't black out. It just it got to a point where I was, I was just doing shit, not remembering shit. <laughs> and then at that at that point, that's when they all was saying, like, on, on gang, like, this little nigga remind me of Blueface. When, <laughs> when he was 18, 19, I had to deal with bro. But yeah. on gang. And then, but yeah, Blueface said that shit. shit. Yeah. I guess I shit. I guess I do, bro. I'm my own nigga. You feel me? But. Yeah. No. I mean, I think nobody can deny that Blueface is one of the biggest artists on the West Coast. Yeah, for sure, know? Blueface. So man. it's not a bad comparison, and it's like it's him saying that himself. You know. Um, bro, Blueface, bro. He, he was, was the hottest artist. Bro, you know? he knew what he was. Bro. He yeah, knew what he was doing, bro. Point. Blueface is a smart nigga, fool. Super man. smart. A whole lot of yeah. super smart. You see all that shit on the internet. Niggas yeah. got a whole lot of shit to say. He know what he doing, bro. Yeah. Like, nigga, know. Calculated. Come on, man. Nigga, know the internet fucking stupid. I swear <laughs> to God. Nigga, yeah. getting rich off the internet, fool. Yeah. Blueface, nah. That's a, yeah, for sure. West Coast. Yeah. 
iCloud for sure. We said a lot of things. Matter of fact, man, we ain't finna get into that one, bro. That's my boy. Shout out yeah. to my boy. That's fine. Um, is there anybody you could say that you're inspired by, like musically, that you like listen to growing up, or that just kind of makes you you see them as an artist and you're like, I want to aspire to be you uh, know, on a similar. Nah, a lot of people there. ask me that question, but. It wasn't never really nobody I was listening to like that growing up and shit. It's like songs, like because like, like I really was already listening to everything, but you feel me? I never really had that one. You feel me? Artist that I yeah. just was obsessed with because I was always making my own music. You felt yeah, you already felt like an artist. Music, you feel yeah. me? I was just always making my own music. Yeah. So. Do you feel like like you haven't had the opportunity to be just like a fan because you always kind of felt like you were in artist mode? Like as of now, like I can't fan it. Like I can't be a fan because you because you're an artist. I um, get it. Bro. Yeah, I don't be one to fan out sometimes, um, yeah. bro. Because it's a couple of artists like that, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Skiller Baby, Skiller Baby, hardest nigga I already know. I ain't gonna He's lie. Yeah. But you see, and then I can't fan out. Now I sound like I'm on dick. Nah. On dick. <laughs> nah, that that needs <laughs> to be like me? a um, bro. Nah, Skiller Baby. Um, yeah. Bro, Skiller Baby, hardest bitch. Um, yeah. Um, who else? Really on the Detroit side, I've been fucking with the Detroit yeah. side heavy. I'm actually gonna fly out there and fuck all them niggas. Uh, That's dope. In a couple of weeks, and my age, uh, JC, shout out to my bro. I've been fucking with all of them, but um, hell yeah, all Detroit side, I fuck with all Detroit side on game. That's fine. That's funny. I was gonna ask you about like I feel like there's a few songs that are kind of they sound Detroit kind of influenced, right? Yeah. Even like uh, fly back to Austin, I was listening take, to it. Take me back to Austin. Take me back to Austin, and I Detroit. was like, "Am I AJC produced sound, that?" Yeah, and I was like, "This sounds like some Detroit." Everything shit. that literally everything that I got coming really is like Detroit. Even really like the, yeah. yeah, it's Detroit. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. cause I've been fucking all of that. Yeah. Take me back to Austin. Am I AJC produced it? That's all. The other shit I did Wood Camp. Yeah. Am I AJC? A lot of my uh, you got a lot of my upcoming shit. Some shit with Am I AJC? Yeah. yeah. Cash can, yeah. um, forever rolling too. I got I got a couple singles to drop. Uh, well, you know forever rolling. No, forever rolling. Real Boston, uh, real Boston Richie producer. Oh, so you okay, never okay, heard yeah. that tag. Yeah, I heard. I got a couple yeah, shit, bro. Richie. But really, yeah, everything really been on my AJC. Like I'm really from the fly to Detroit with the niggas in all that minute. So, um, bro, that's really what I've been on. I that's hard. Lie. I like the line you said. Uh, Ask a bitch one question: Who she bank with? <laughs> I'm saying one question for a bitch, baby. Will you bank with? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, it's hard. <laughs> you thought that shit was hard? Yeah. Like, shit. It'd be little simple lines that I'd be like, man, um, bro, that's hard. I, I swear I'd be popping, popping. I'd be just be talking shit, bro. Yeah. Literally in the room, just talking shit. Hundred <laughs> percent. Um. So tell me about the the inspiration behind that song. Behind what? Take me back to Austin. Take me back to Austin. Yeah, man, you trying to get into it like that? Hey, like man. That. Like, and and I gotta I gotta disclose. I I happened to just be there, like as everything was happening. You so was out there. I was literally for there. South by Southwest. Bro, I ran into y'all. Ocho knows. I was right there. Oh, we did. I uh, was literally outside as. Oh, matter of fact, I think we did. Did yeah. you see me? Did I interact with you? Yeah, we saw. I probably quick. didn't know you was. Yeah, no, I saw probably you. Know. I probably got. I was probably got. <laughs> so it was. Yeah, it was. It was dark in there. But I had just said what's up to Ocho. That happened. Tell me just Oh, tell so me you was in there. I was in at there. At the I was, shit. Yes, bro. Man, I was that's there. Song, bro. I seen I seen I seen the whole thing unfold, but I don't know if you've like addressed it. Like, you seen oh you was just there. I though. was there Everything. there. So I you was there. knew. Yeah. The, man, come on, man. <laughs> Vic, you know the on the, I don't bro. On everything. Man. Because look, I'll just tell you what I seen from my point of view, tell and then me, you can tell me your point of view. Bro, I want Basically, to we're chopping it up. Seen, so look, this is what happened. I'm there. You uh, there. I, 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 I said what's up to her I said what's up to you I said what's up to Ocho And then it gets to a point Where we're like Okay um, I'm, a, I'm about to dip somewhere else I think we're hungry We're about to dip And then so we're walking out um, There's people in the lobby uh, I see R3 and his people Chop it up with them real quick And then we go outside We're waiting for an Uber So then they left I guess you guys When I last seen you guys You guys were inside Like the whole the whole thing and I guess you guys happened to come out to the lobby. I don't know if you guys were about to leave or something. And then we were finna shoot a couple of scenes right there. Okay. I was a my videographer. And then and then our three people come back inside. We're still on the left side waiting for our Uber. 
and then just some melee happens, and then we just see them leave. look. So you watch everybody leave, said it was in that lobby with Greedo. Everybody yeah. was in the lobby. Facts. I was with my boy TK. I was in there with Bob. Yeah. Bob said everybody was in there. Yeah. Where was he at? Didn't notice that. Where was he at? Yeah. We was the only nigga that stayed in the lobby because we was finna shoot. Uh, so I was with my videographer. We was finna shoot some scenes, literally. Yeah. Notice we the only niggas in there. As soon as everybody leave the lobby, that's when nigga wanna walk gang, gang thick on them. These niggas 12, 13. Um, bro, I don't, I don't even know why we talking about this shit on, bro. I mean, I'm just saying, bro. I was there. It was like, oh, I was. Nigga, yeah. you seen it though. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I don't, oh, so you was still there during everything. You watched on the bro, bro. You I didn't watched. go inside because I was like, bro, I'm not about to get it involved was, in none of that. Um, bro, you know? it's just strange to me. So, like, yeah. a nigga just watched 12, 13 niggas yeah. just walk in on, um, bro. And yeah. then I'm like, Nigga, nigga ain't never even addressed nothing. Yeah. Nigga, see me? The only thing on my mind is a nigga finna say, What's happening to me? You feel me? Like, yeah. what's the deal? Yeah. Um, bro, nigga, just a whole lot of bunk happy. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, and nigga, it happens. And that's um, the thing. Bro. It's like, you know what? That's the thing, too. I got to say, from my point of view, again, this is just me speaking. I'm glad everybody's relatively okay. It's bumps and bruises, whatever. And then. I was like, also like, damn, it's like, it's us Cali people bringing all this drama to Texas. I was like, yo, Man, that's what, and I know it's not like you guys did anything. I'm not faulting you. I was just like, from my point of view, I'm like, I didn't see no other like people get down. And the, I just thought it was like, damn. The nigga, man, I'm tell you like this. Oh, bro, niggas know the truth. And niggas already know the deal. Already know how it's being on, bro. Niggas, niggas the lighter. Niggas deal what they did. Niggas deal what they did. And yeah. we gonna leave it in the streets. Just yeah. like that, um, bro. But the nigga, nigga seen I was three, four deep. Me, yeah. my manager, and my boy. Yeah. And the nigga got whatever, nine, ten niggas with him. Who do whatever they say. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, we squabbled up just like that. Okay. See? Yeah. I wanna hear nothing else. Nigga saying this and that. Bro, nigga hopped on the flight, bro. We in Texas. No, nigga, no, nigga don't got strap on you, man. No yeah. nigga, nigga was simple, nigga. We, that nigga, I would have did the same motherfucking thing, nigga. Shit, if I knew, if I knew the nigga was a op, I ain't like, nigga, nigga ain't even never let me know, nigga, you was a op. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bro, so a nigga can't even get in that mode. Yeah. But, um, bro, I was I was confused by it too. I'm like, I didn't I'm know confused the whole time. Yeah. I'm confusing. But yeah. regardless, nigga. Yeah. When you hear that shit, bro, we squabbled up. That was that yep. leading the streets. Yeah. Nigga, another deal. Yep. It's, um, it's what it is. But, um. um all so. That, hey, all I know is that we left untouched. Man, untouched. Uh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know where my scars. I don't know where yeah. my scars. Cause I don't yeah. know where that was. I didn't see anyone. I didn't see that. The guy showed his face, but um, man, the face swollen. All I, all I, man, nigga had it on. I promise you, niggas, the nigga ain't touched me one time. Sort of guy, six foot four, big, three hundred fifty fit, fit, fifty pound nigga, fire on me and my manager park. You know who I'm, bro. Nigga ain't finna keep it. Come on, man. Niggas not the truth. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. All this shit, man, yeah. whatever. Niggas know the truth, man. Yeah. Leave that shit in the streets, so, yeah. bro. Nigga ain't tripping off that shit. Nigga, you know exactly we come with this shit, man. Nigga, I'm gonna accept that shit, you feel me? Yeah. Bro, we outside, though, for sure. Every Thanks. day, every night. Um. So, one more thing. So, the project, is, is, is this one, like, heavily produced by, like, Detroit style? Or is it more so the next ones that are coming that you're working on? Well, like on the table on this project, that's that's on this project. On, on this project, one. got a lot of a lot of different shit. Mm -hmm. There's some Detroit shit on there. Fire that to me. That's my favorite him busy. Yeah. That's that's my Man, favorite. That's my I favorite got a version. bro. I got a lot of crazy yeah. ass shit ready to drop. I'm telling you, um, bro. I got I got a lot of crazy shit. Would um, you make like music more to, like leaning towards like the girls or like some shit like I that? I mean, it's shit. I, I got shit out like for the bitches. Yeah. You feel me? I got the, the really her shit. That's yeah. what all the bitches love. Yeah. I ain't been on that type of tape in a minute, but yeah. a nigga, you feel me? I could do whatever. I'll sit there and make whatever literally all day. Nigga, it ain't never just one. Yeah. You feel me? Detroit. Yeah. Rap scene, whatever. Um, bro. But the tape, the tape got a lot of different shit on there. Especially the last track is different. 
Yeah. Like some Playboy Cardi shit type shit. Oh, okay. Like Hell down, yeah. Bro. Get in that bag, that rock star shit. Uh, tell me about your label. You got a JV with Alamo. That's a big deal. Uh, yeah, I did. I signed Alamo. Got a joint venture uh, from my own label, Now and Forever. Yeah, tell me about Now and Forever. Like, what's um, the, the concept behind it? And, like, you have artists signing Yeah, signed to I'm going to start signing with? a few. Um, I'm going to start signing artists on, bro. I got um, my boy. Um, my is here right now. Um, on the oh yeah, damn, um, now forever. They gave me a joint venture. I'm gonna start signing artists. Um, I don't know if you heard a five star DJ. Yeah, yeah, five star DJ. That's my boy. Um, really gonna be one of the first artists on the label. And then um, what's uh what's cutting it? Rowdy. Roddy Rags. Roddy Rags. It's a couple, you feel me? A couple people I'm looking at right now. But Five Star D, uh, Five Star DJ for sure. Up and coming. Up and coming artist. Oh, yeah. Fire. Oh, um, bro. That's so, yeah. Fun. Just stay tuned in. You feel me? Yeah. Now, forever. So, you went here. I like so, that you're in that, like, boss mindset already. Oh, yeah. Because you feel me? I already know. To, I to like, be, like, so young and just be like, all right, I need to start looking for artists myself is like, um, bro. That's people already, don't usually do that until you know um, they're yeah, that's already, a couple years in the game or whatever. Um, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. All right, so as I got my shit, nigga. Oh, that's already what I was trying to be on, um, but. And you're looking to sign artists like. Like on some faux PF type yeah, shit. Yeah. Okay. Me? Okay. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah. That's um, fine. It's like you'll come like let's say <laughs> you come across a really dope artist, you're gonna try to. Exactly, like but it's really yeah. like even my brothers though, like yeah. just like a like five star DJ. Yeah, it's like my brother on gang. It's really like some, it's gonna be some brother shit, some yeah. family shit. Whoever I uh step upon to, I come yeah. a, a hard ass artist on gang. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you, cause it's really everybody K. You feel me? But. Yeah. I like what um, like Yo Gotti did with like CMG. I CMG like that's like type shit. That's really you see cool. like every couple of years he comes out with like the newest hottest artist. Exactly. You see, and Glow. he's still dropping hits himself. You see, Glorilla going crazy. Yeah. Um, bro, that's what I'm trying to be on. Yeah. We got a lot of shit in motion, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Told, yeah. I see you working, bro. So. I'm working. Yeah, um, I see it. I fuck with it. Uh, is there anything else you want to say before we get out of here? Shit, not for real. Tape coming soon. Um, whole lot of shit coming coming soon. Uh, release party four twenty. Everybody pop out. Yes, sir. Oh, I will bro. be. There. I'm be at the next one. I promise. You gotta be at the next <laughs> one. Man. I'm, I'm gonna be at the next one for the sure. The gang get ratchet. We are gonna turn it out. Everybody yeah. pop out. Everybody uh, stream the tape when it drop. All of that. Feel me? Yep. Tomorrow it drop yeah. tomorrow. Man, so we viral. Oh yeah, I'm gonna post a track list on bro. Tape drop tomorrow though. Hell Everybody yeah. about to stream that motherfucker. We're going to run it up on game. Rose Panswick Podcast. He and BZ. Appreciate you for coming out. You already know, bro. Let me come out, bro. You already know, bro. Mm. We out.